All right. So you've been out looking for moral mushrooms and you don't know where to start. You haven't found any, you don't know where to start. So I'm gonna try to key you guys in on what I look for when I'm looking for moral mushrooms. Let's see if we can find some. All right guys, so here's kind of what I'm looking at. Over here, this way from me is, is woods. And then kind of this way, it's more open like pasture. So one thing that I'm seeing, I'm walking along the edge of this wood line. If you guys can see here, there's a little ditch here. You can kind of see, kind of see how the water has washed away. And it's about, it's March 26th today, I believe. March 27th. And we just had two days of hard rain followed by two really warm days. It's kind of the first warm trend we've had here in central Oklahoma. But I don't know if you guys can see, but right here it's kind of washed away where the water, you can kind of, you can kind of see where this where the water flooded down into these trees so that's a really good place to start is these flood areas where you see water is ran and we're kind of going to just work our way along this little flood line and the reason why you look in places like this is this water flows down and kind of follows this little this little area and it washes the spores down and the mushrooms will pop up around these places so we're not necessarily looking in where the water has been like flowing real hard but we're going to look in areas that are close to that so like underneath cedar trees like this would be a good place to good place to look i'm just going to basically follow this little drain and look in the look in the edges of the woods for places and and so we're going to look in places like this with high stem count see that's real thick we're going to look off in places like that um and we're going to basically just keep following this little ditch where the water has flooded and we're going to look off into trees looking for high stem count stuff basically what high stem count means is a bunch of a bunch of growth like like thick stuff and then we obviously have a big canopy up above us so we're looking for big trees and little stuff coming up so let's go look all right guys we have a winner right there a little bitty guy i think we'll leave him and see if we see if we can't let him grow a little bit like i said it's still really early here this is the first sighting and i've never i've never found mushrooms in this spot so like i say you can see here i don't know if you guys can see but you can kind of see where the water has washed down this way and just right there, well, right there is our first mushroom. That's how close it is to that flooded. So I'm, like I said, I'm just following this little flooded, this little flood drain and looking into the, looking into the, just looking in the woods right off next to it. And there's our first guy right there. So another thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind is, is the first one's always the hardest to find. So when you can get in and when you find that one, like we just found this one, so I'm really gonna slow down here and I'm really gonna look. Cause when you, where you find one, a lot of times you'll start, you'll start finding them popping up all around you. And the way that the, the system works is that the moral mushroom, like the fungus lives under the ground and it, and it, it spreads its like system. And so where you find one, normally you'll find a whole bunch of them right there, or it's still early right now. So we might not find any here, but I'm definitely gonna mark this spot on OnX. I use OnX app. And I'm gonna mark this spot. And if I don't find any more here today, in the next couple days, next couple weeks, we're definitely gonna find more here. I, I hope. Normally I'm gonna find some more here if I find one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in and look here for a while. I'll let you guys know what I find. Alrighty guys. So I came a little bit further, found a little bit better one. There's another one. I'm right here. I'm about like probably 20 feet from where I first found that other one. The first one was right over there. So again, here's this little drain. You guys can't really see it, but it kind of just flows on around and you can kind of just see where the water has washed. And again, right off that drain, found another one and another one right here in this drain. You can kind of see how the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but you can kind of see how the, uh, 
how the leaves are like piled up from being washed. And right there in this drain, found another one. All right, I was sitting here looking at this one and I crouched down just to try to scan the area. And from right there, I looked up over there and there's another one, a really nice one. So another good place to look. So we're, we're kind of found another little water drain. Obviously no water in it now. I think that's the key to these drains. It's like there's, you can tell where water has washed over there, but there's no water standing in it. That's a great place to look because the spores just washed down that stream. And also we got this little cedar stand, these dead cedar trees and all underneath them, we've been finding mushrooms everywhere. What do you got there? Mushrooms. Oh yeah. All right. We found all these right over here next to this drain and then around these cedar trees. So we're going to keep looking. Finding them really good around cedar trees. So we're following ditches, following, looking under cedar trees right there. So it's important when you start looking for these mushrooms, you've got to have a lot of things that have to go just right at right at right at the right time before you're going to find them so in central oklahoma right around the end of march is when we start finding them usually so you should you should look at when you start finding them like if you found them before you should go back and look look through your phone look at the dates that you found them and a, look and know that around that time every year you're going to find them and if you haven't ever found them before you're just trying to get into it and trying to start finding them um, I recommend going on a Facebook group. Everybody's got Facebook, right? Uh, go to a moral mushroom finder group. And a lot of times in, in your county, there will be these little groups where people start posting that they're finding them. And so around the time that they start finding them, um, you should know that it, that you should know that it's time to start looking um, or, or if you found them in the past. So what we've had is we've been unseasonably cold all March, but we just had a lot of rain followed by a couple warm days, like I mentioned. So those are the perfect conditions. Whenever you get right around that right, that right around that right area, right around that right time frame that you usually find them, and you you have a rain followed by warm, you should get out in the woods and find them. All right, guys, found some more mushrooms. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with right here. All right, so out in front of me and down below me, this way is a creek bottom. And you can kind of see again where you may not be able to see it, but right in here, there's kind of like a little wash zone where the water washes down into this creek behind me. And so I was walking up here on top of the creek, on top of like the creek bank. And right here, is some little cedar trees. I got cedar trees around me. And look what we found. Yeah, another one over there couple more over here I don't know where the other one went but so kind of the going theme guys is I'm looking for where water can wash and they're really under cedar trees really good now so I'm over here I'm following where the water washes and I'm kind of paying attention to reading the land to see where the water kind of flows when it rains hard and then off the edges of those, I'm finding all these mushrooms. Found another one, again, right in this drain. You can see these like sticks and leaves and stuff that have washed and it's like right in a ditch. You can see like the little wash. There's another one. And then right over there, there's another one. It's a little bitty guy, I don't know if you can see it. And another one right underneath these cedar trees next to this wash so the going theme guys is that i'm looking at drainage drainage areas that are in the woods close to creeks i'm looking for drains that wash the water and i'm looking where they run into cedar trees that's where i'm finding them really good and these are all new spots this is be a great place for you guys to go look to check new spots and find some mushrooms hope this helps guys